This is LG's new 27 inch 5K monitor. It's absolutely stunning, but it's also very, very expensive at about £1,200 or $1,300. It's kind of like they've taken a 5K iMac and then just taken the screen out and left the computer a bit. It's pretty much the Apple monitor in all but name. LG are even marketing this as the perfect companion for Mac users. If you're looking for a premium, color accurate, super sharp and easy to connect second screen for your MacBook Air or your MacBook Pro and have very deep pockets, then this is definitely worth considering. Following in Apple's footsteps, LG have gone full USB-C here. There's one Thunderbolt 3 upstream and three USB 3.1 Type-C downstreams. That's it. There's no HDMI, no USB-A, there aren't even any physical controls on the monitor. It couldn't be any more Apple. But honestly, I think it's great. All you need is one cable, one Thunderbolt 3 cable that comes bundled in the box. Plug in your MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, Dell XPS 15, whatever Thunderbolt 3 laptop or PC you have, then connect it to the Thunderbolt port on the back, the one with the ring around it, and you're done. This one cable takes care of video, sound, and gives you 94 watts of power, so it charges your laptop at the same time. Now, of course, Thunderbolt 3 isn't exactly new anymore, but it's still pretty magical when you can get the basic MacBook Air. This is the cheapest version of the new model, and with one cable, you can get the full 5K60 audio out, and it still charges it as well. Although I think something more powerful like a MacBook Pro would be best here. The dual-core i5 of my MacBook Air is fine for basic tasks, but pushing that 5K resolution when doing anything intensive does start to make it chug a bit. One of the cool features if you are using a Mac with this monitor is you can actually use the keyboard shortcuts or the touch bar if you've got a fancy MacBook Pro to adjust the brightness and the volume on the monitor. So normally I can just press the uh, brightness key and that changes it there. If I hold control and do the same thing, it then adjusts it on the monitor itself. Same thing for the sound. Not only that, but it works with the True Tone Ambient Light Sensor on your MacBook and adjust the screen based on the lighting around you. You can of course turn this off on your Mac if you're doing color sensitive work, and it doesn't work if you're using this with a laptop screen closed. However, that's all well and good if you're using a Mac, but if you're using a Windows laptop, here's one I made earlier, but I can't for the life of me figure out how to adjust the brightness of this if you're using a Windows machine. I mean, obviously I can hold FN and press the brightness keys, that changes this, changing the brightness, it's just for the built-in screen. There may be some ways you can do it through the NVIDIA control panel, but why not just give me some physical controls? So if you are considering buying this 5K monitor, then I definitely recommend pairing it with a Mac. What you can also do is hook up your iPad Pro. You get two cables in the box with the monitor, one Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 3 for laptops, and then also a Thunderbolt 3 to USB-C, the second cable, which you can then plug in to your iPad Pro, hopefully, there we go, <laughs> you have a second screen for your iPad. And then as you can see, it's actually really responsive. And now we've got iPad OS. Uh, if you're one of those brave people who are perhaps using this as a laptop replacement, then combined with a Bluetooth keyboard, you could use it as a bit of a workstation hub, which is kind of cool actually. Let me just finish this painting I was working on. I'm almost there, I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty good for me. What do you think? <laughs> You'll also need to use this USB-C cable for connecting the monitor to your desktop PC, which does limit it to 4K rather than 5K. Unless of course you happen to have a Thunderbolt 3 port on your PC, or your Mr. Moneybags with a Mac Pro. Okay, enough about ports, let's talk about that screen. We get a glossy IPS panel with a 5120 by 2880 resolution that gives us 218 pixels per inch. It's ridiculously sharp and just looks incredible. I find myself leaning in and trying to make out individual pixels, but it's impossible. I mean, if you consider a normal 4K monitor has 8.2 million pixels, this one has 14.7 million. That's 77% more. Pair that with a 1201 contrast ratio, 99% DCI-P3 color, and a whopping 500 nits of brightness, it takes a lot of boxes. Unfortunately, it doesn't support any kind of high dynamic range, so you can't stream or edit or you know watch any HDR content on this, which is a bit of a shame given we have that 500 nit brightness, and also the fact it's targeted towards creators and prosumers who may actually want to edit HDR content. And also with a 14 millisecond greater gray response time, this is definitely not ideal for gaming. You'd see quite a lot of ghosting, but it's not really meant for that. But what exactly is the point of 5K monitors? Well, besides offering an even sharper image with a higher PPI than 4K, it allows creators to view and edit 4K content natively, while still having some extra screen space for the program's toolbars and menus, particularly useful for Lightroom, Photoshop, and well, most of the Adobe Suite. And that 99% P3 color is perfect for video editors. 
Now it isn't a truly professional monitor, it doesn't have a native 10-bit panel, it uses 8-bit plus FRC, it's glossy which looks nice but of course you get reflections and I think a matte panel would have been more useful. Design wise, well, it's simple, functional. The bezels are pretty chunky and they're not flush with the screen so it's not the sexiest monitor in the world. It does feel well built though with a sturdy metal stand. You can't rotate it but you can tilt it and adjust the height and it even goes high enough to fit a 15 inch laptop screen underneath. You do of course also have the option of visa mounting it and there's a separate back plate in the box for doing that. All right, so this is being shot with the little two megapixel camera that's built into the top bezel. Uh, it's shooting full HD video at 30 FPS. Uh, it's quite a big step up from the webcam in my uh, MacBook Air. It's still not amazing, uh, but if you are doing lots of sort of Skype calls, FaceTime, web chats, that sort of thing, then this may come in quite handy. There's also dual five watt speakers, which are among the best I've ever heard on a monitor. Your destiny. I'm seriously considering using this as my new day-to-day -day work monitor, but if I'm being honest, 27 inches just feels a bit small for me. I'm used to using bigger ultra-wide monitors, and if there was a 32-inch version of this, it would be perfect. So overall, LG's new 5K monitor is definitely quite a niche product. It's for prosumers, ideally who use a Mac, but who also can't afford Apple's upcoming Pro Display XDR, but still have over a grand to drop on a single 27-inch monitor. But if you are that person, and fair play, that's a pretty cool place to be, then yeah, I definitely recommend this. And if you do want to find out more, I've left links in the description below. Would you ever buy a 5K monitor though, or is it just a bit overkill? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you did enjoy this video, then why not hit that subscribe button, go and check out some more of my videos. Then you'll get sick of hearing my voice and seeing my face, and then you'll unsubscribe and we'll be back to square one. And hopefully though, I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat.